So yes, I've been using GPT for a lot of the complaints immediately started cropping up. Mm-hmm. People have gotten used to Foro, right? The launch was a fair, fair bit of a flub because they removed all the earlier models. But isn't that a criticism you had? That what do I do? How do I choose from amongst this model? I don't care. Just make, give me the GPT that works, right? Yes. So they were. I am. Uh, we've discussed this multiple times, right? There were like nine or ten different choices to choose from. Mm-hmm. And it is melded it all together into GPT-5. But there is also a thought here that this is now the beginning of the enshitification era of GPTs. So all instructions are passed in number of tokens, right? A token is basically a set of character, and that is how pricing is done mm-hmm. for AI tools. That's how they do metering. Yeah. That's how they do metering, right? Now I might be on an unlimited subscription plan, but there's always it's like fair use policy, right? Which is where this multi-model thing is a bit of a trap, is what I feel. Where GPT chooses the model for you versus you getting to choose the model means it's probably going to it gives itself the uh, gives itself the right to push a particular user towards a particular model. High reasoning, low reasoning. <laughs> Apparently, enough people are now saying that it will send you towards a weaker model. Even if you're on the $200 plan, unless you write "think harder" in the prompt, I don't so know. That yeah. never seems to work with my kids. <laughs> Ask your kids if that works with you. I can't buy a PS5. Work harder. <laughs>